Well, it has been a big week for celebrity news. There's this hashtag fail from Robin Thicke and then also Shia LaBeouf, the latest on his treatment. That's all been trending. So let's dive right in. Joining us now, Alexis Chu from In Touch Weekly. She's the executive editor. Alexis, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know, Shia LaBeouf behaving badly, gets arrested there at a Broadway show. And so often when celebrities are caught, they go into rehab. This is not rehab. He's calling this a treatment program. So what's the differentiation here? Yeah, Shia's doing things a little bit differently, which is kind of his thing, you know, his M.O. He is getting help, uh, but he says that he is not going into inpatient. He's uh, getting outpatient treatment, and he has been spotted walking on the streets with uh, an Alcoholics Anonymous book. And so he's doing things his own way, but he says he is getting help for his problems. Okay, so this following, of course, his behavior there at that Broadway show. Uh also, behavior, Robin Thicke, he seems to not be able to let this go. And there's actually a hashtag ask thick and he thought this would be a great move but it backfired in a big way what's this all about this was like a twitter disaster it was like a total hashtag fail as you said um you know he thought that he would do a q a to promote his new album titled paula for the the wife that left him that he's trying to get back so publicly um they thought it would be a lot of fans writing in asking about the album and his career and maybe a few personal questions and it just turned into a debacle they piled on him he got just worked from every side by fans who think he's a misogynist and disagree with the lines, um, the, you know, the words from his hit song, Blurred Lines. He got hammered about Miley Cyrus and the big performance on the VMAs. He just, it, it, was, it was ugly. Yeah, actually, you know, Alexis, it's funny. I have a couple sample tweets from the hashtag, as you mm -hmm. point out, so I just want to read them to you. I can get your take. So Samantha says, Robin Thicke says he wants the Twitter abuse to stop, but we all know stop means more. He taught us that himself. Uh, here's oh, yeah. another one. James asks, I asked my wife if she wants your album. She said no. Does that mean yes? Oh, I, I, I mean, wait, for a it, celebrity, what does that do to their image? It's, it's not looking good for him. I feel like someone got a very stern talking to about organizing this Q&A. It sounds like it, it was a little bit off note in terms of his perception of the public perception of him. Yeah. Um, because the ones you read are the tip of the iceberg. If anyone hasn't gone on and scrolled through, you should, because it's pretty surprising and, and sort of highly amusing. One of my favorites was someone wrote, did you really write a rape anthem as a love song for your wife? And are you still wondering why she left you? I mean, people did not give this guy a break. And I think that was a surprise to him. Yeah, I'm sure uh, it was. So, all right, Alexis Chu, thanks so much for joining us and of course you can check out more of in touch weekly it is on stands now you take care have a great holiday weekend you too